Hello, thank you for volunteering with Commit to Flip Blue. In our work to recapture the presidency, flip the U.S. Senate, and keep our majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. Today we're going to walk you through writing postcards to voters. Even during this time when social gatherings are restricted or discouraged, we've created an easy process for you to continue to do this important work in a way that's safe, fun, engaging, and will make a big difference in the future of our country. At the end of the presentation, you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and dig deeper, but the basics of activating voters via postcard writing is simple, and after today, you can get started right away as an at-home volunteer from wherever you're located. Commit to Flip Blue started in 2017 in the Bay Area of Northern California. We've now expanded our activities to the national stage as a special project of Flip the West. Commit to Flip Blue is made up entirely of volunteers like yourself. We're able to do this work thanks to your efforts, enthusiasm, and commitment, as well as your donations of time, materials, and funds that fuel these efforts. In 2018, we helped flip California's seven red congressional districts to blue for the first time in decades. Now we're also helping in other states with voter registration efforts and support for blue candidates for Senate. Together we'll flip seats from red to blue with your help. So far in 2020, we've already written and mailed over 100,000 postcards. Through our partnership with Flip the West, Arizona Blue, and other independent groups across the country, we're supplied with names and addresses of registered voters and specific call-to-action scripts for a variety of postcard writing campaigns and initiatives that have been identified as having high-impact potential in swing states and purple districts. As you might know, it can be hard to get people's attention these days, even for important work like selecting their elected representatives and voting. But sending targeted, handwritten postcards is a proven way to rally voters. Now let's get started. The first thing a volunteer does is sign up online and let us know where you're located and how many postcards you're able to write for the current campaign. You've probably already done that, but if not, we'll send you a link to sign up during or after this training. If you're part of a group or want to sign up a group of postcard writing volunteers in your area, let us know that so we know how best to get your group involved. Our postcard writing activities used to be a group activity, but right now, because of the COVID-19 situation, we're doing things a different way. At some point, we may be able to work together again, but for now, we're adapting to carry on these important activities in our homes and staying connected using tools like Zoom and email. If you're local to one of our hub leaders, you'll be able to have contactless pickup of supplies. If you lead a group of volunteers, we'll show you how to assemble postcard packets to get supplies to your volunteers safely. If you're not local to a hub or a group leader, you'll just need to supply your own postcards, but all the rest of the instructions are just the same. Once you've signed up, We'll send you an email with a description of the project you'll be working on, including directions and deadlines for completion. The email we send will also include attachments with the project guidelines, a voter name and address list, and a script. It will also include a point of contact for you if you have questions. Here are the things you'll need. You'll need postcards. If you don't get postcards from us, please use vote-themed cards that are not super partisan and not overtly political. There are examples throughout this presentation. You'll also need to get postcard stamps. Everyone provides their own stamps for the cards they write. You'll need a dark blue pen. A highlighter, colored pencils, or markers are helpful to call out parts of the written script. Whiteout is also handy if you make a mistake and you don't want to waste a postcard. Postcards are available on Etsy and other sites. If you're getting your own, we'll send you some links to some good sources. For stamps, if you have first class forever stamps at home, you're welcome to use them. But if you're purchasing stamps just for your postcards, you can use the less expensive postcard specific stamps. Rolls of 35 cent postage stamps can be ordered from the USPS online and saves you a trip to the post office. Be sure to order them well in advance. It can take two weeks to get online orders delivered these days. 
purchasing stamps from the U.S. Postal Service is also a great way to support that important institution, which is so vital to the U.S. Census efforts and vote-by-mail elections across the country. Okay, now you have your cards, your stamps, and your instructions. The most important thing is to make sure you read the guidelines before beginning. Each postcard writing campaign will be different and will include specific instructions around things such as whether to use the recipient's first or last name, the mailing deadlines, etc. Your guidelines will also include a sample of the finished postcard for you to refer to. Please print as some people can't read cursive and try to write as legibly as you can. Cross out addresses on your list of voters as you address each card to avoid making errors or losing your place. If you don't have a printout of the address list and are working with the PDF directly on your computer screen, you can use the highlight color tool to virtually cross out addresses as you go along. The cards you write must follow the script provided. Write the script exactly as it is worded, word for word. The scripts are provided to us by our partners and have been developed and tested specifically to support their goals and with their voter base in mind. So it's very important that you not change any part of the script, even if you believe it could be improved upon. Use your first name only when signing the card. It can be fun to be creative with this exercise, but specific directions will be given around decorating, underlining, highlighting in the guidelines, and they'll vary by campaign. But as a general rule, don't use stickers unless provided or instructed. Proofread, or have someone else proofread the cards for you. Make sure the address is complete and the names are spelled correctly. Check that the name on the address matches the salutation on the other side of the card. It's easy to make mistakes when working from long lists. Here are a few examples of some completed postcards. Note the neat printing, selective highlighting, first name signature, and symbol design. One thing to remember, if you take photos of your completed cards to post on social media, be sure not to show the name and address of the voter in your photo. These are to John or Jane Doe and are examples used in instructions for a current campaign. Now we're ready to get those postcards in the mail. We suggest you put the stamp on last once you're sure there are no errors on the card and it's ready to go. Be sure to send your cards well before the deadline if possible. We all get busy and you don't want to rush to do your cards at the last minute. We want the cards to arrive in plenty of time for the voter to take the specific action requested. In some cases, voters want to see postmarks from their local states, and you may need to return your completed postcards to your group leader to be mailed all at once from that location. If that's the case, it'll be in your instructions. Otherwise, pop them in the mail yourself and, finally, Take a moment to appreciate your participation in helping this widespread movement to get our country back on track. You've made a difference and your work will change the course of history. A couple of words about privacy. The lists with voters' names and addresses are never to be shared or used for other purposes. Please shred the paper copies and delete any electronic copies when you're done. If you take a photo of a postcard to share, make sure that the last name and address of the recipient is covered. Please do not share this video publicly. If you want to recruit other volunteers, that's great. Have them sign up to postcard with us. There will be a lot of postcard writing to be done between now and November 2020. Here are a few helpful links to our website and social media, plus info and sources for supplies. We'll send them to you via email or put them in the chat during this presentation for easier reference. Thank you for volunteering with Commit to Flip Blue. We're happy to answer any questions you have and to get you started on your first or your 100th batch of postcards.